Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to have a look at adding a grammar editor to LibreOffice. Somebody asked me if there was one such tool available for LibreOffice, very similar to what you have included on Microsoft Office, and I answered I did not know, but I ended up finding one thanks to a friend who uh, was showing me a few different alternatives to Grammarly. And I've been looking at different alternatives to that for a while because as I do write, I think some of the tools and features that they have are good, but Grammarly uses session replay and their terms of service basically indicates that when you use Grammarly, literally anything and everything you type in your computer now belongs to Grammarly. So we don't want to do that. Now in the middle of this, I actually did find a company that is... Um, I don't think it is uh, free and open source specifically, uh, but this uh, this company here actually is a very good Grammarly alternative. They have, of course, um, they do support Windows and Mac. They don't support directly Linux, except they do have a browser extension that is pretty good. So I do have a new affiliate uh, link that is on the affiliates page. I dropped that on the affiliates page for Switch to Linux and for Think Life Media. And uh, this is something I wanted to get for my new and upcoming writing channel where we teach you how to do writing stuff. You can see here that they actually have tools for open office. Um, although I did look into it and this is an application, not a plugin for it. But what we want to talk about today is there is a complete free and open source tool called Language Tool. This is at languagetool.org. There are some other companies that have spun up around this, such as languagetoolsplus.com, which all utilizes the same the same feature. Now the difference is the free version, you're, you uh, do things through the web here or through a browser extension or, as we will see here, a LibreOffice extension. The free one does a pretty good job. It doesn't do quite as good as I found Pro Reading Aid is, is, but if you're just needing some basic grammar checking stuff, uh, you're not doing anything super, um, uh, super advanced, then uh, you can actually go ahead and use this tool here. So I have here a LibreOffice document for a book that I'm working on, which is more of a testimony book. And you'll see I have one uh, word here that it doesn't like. Um, just that is a, a good word for that, even if it may not be right. But of course, the biggest problem with LibreOffice is we do not have any way of checking our grammar. Well, enter our language tool.org. And if you head on over to add-ons, you can see that they have a LibreOffice extension. So the LibreOffice extension basically gives you some basic grammar checking. It's not going to be as good as Pro Writing Aid or, you know, Grammarly if you want to use that. If you're like a serious advanced writer and you want to you want to pay for one, take a look at the link in the description here and on the affiliates page. I actually have a 20% off coupon code for Pro Writing Aid as well. But this is actually going to be good enough for most people who just need some basic grammar checking. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And it is an OXT file, which is a LibreOffice extension tool. If you save it, you'll just have to go up into your uh, tools and then to your extension manager and add it. But if we just go ahead and open it with LibreOffice, LibreOffice is going to know what to do with it. So go ahead and click the download button. It's going to download, which is just going to take a few seconds here. And then it will give us the extension manager pop-up here. So it tells us we are about to install the uh, extension language tool. Click OK to proceed. Of course, all of the code for this is all on GitHub, so you can go ahead and uh, check it out there. You can see we have our information, grammar, style, and spell checker. So it allows you to check your writing in up to 20 languages. Let's go ahead and close this. We do have to restart LibreOffice. Let's go ahead and just restart. And uh, it should restart with the document open. If it doesn't, I just put the document right here on my desktop. We will restart it and then we'll have a quick look at how this extension works. Okay, so now we have reinstalled uh, it. Now I went through and made this thing super, super intense. By default, it's not this intense. So if you see the green, it's highlighting, you know, this paragraph is over 80 words long. Consider revising. Uh, there's a lot of references in here for um, basically this is passive voice references. And uh, you can actually come into the language tool. You can turn it 
on or off. It's going to be in the tools language tool menu. It is turned on by default when we install it. We can actually come into our uh, options in here and we can make it more or less. Here's our colorations. Colorations are supported in 6.2 or greater in LibreOffice. And then over here, uh, we can actually turn things on, turn things off. So, you know, let's look at um, there's Wikipedia's fine. Let's look at typography. So you can kind of see that there's a, a variety of different rules. It doesn't have smart ellipses in there. Let's go ahead and turn smart ellipses on. And there were some things I actually wanted to turn back off. So, oh, look at that. It's checking for profanity, rotability, three nouns in a row. So there's a lot of th features in here I don't even have turned on yet. The ones I wanted to get rid of, if I could, is the uh, large paragraphs. If we can't find it right away, that's okay. Just understand there are a lot of things in here that uh, that we have. So here's uh, creative writing to be formed. So this is kind of deals with that. If I actually turn off creative writing, it should take care of most of those. It doesn't like the fact that this is passive voice. This document, it's okay if it's passive voice because, frankly, it is about my life in the past tense. But what you will see, this one here is a wordy paragraph. Um, that's still on there. There's a setting for that to turn it off. I wanna look at the blue ones here. Uh, these are actually highlighting some things. So if you wanna right click here, so you can see here, it's giving us missing hyphens, gives us an explanation, we can ignore it. We can go to the language tool options. And uh, over here, I can go ahead and right click. This one here, it actually, it has an agreement error. Uh, this one here, it doesn't actually propose a fix. I'm not sure that um, Microsoft Office would know how to fix what's in either. This should say us kids. That should actually fix it. Yep, so it does. All right, and then over here, again, we're missing more hyphens. So let's just go ahead and do that. And so now we have a grammar checker built into LibreOffice. Now, if we want to see if it does a little bit better online, we can copy the text, go on up, and as long as this isn't over, I think the limit on this is maybe 20,000 words, I forget. But if you go ahead and enter it in here, it's gonna go ahead and do a check. And so far, it actually seems to point that everything seems to be pretty good. So if I were actually to take the same thing and drop it into the Pro Writing Aid, which is my new affiliate, then uh, it actually would. I can't show you exactly what it looks like uh, right here, but there is actually uh, the same thing. You can use the same tool. You just have to log into the account. I did actually do some testing on it. It, it works pretty good. But for your basic person who just needs some simple uh, grammar checking, language tool is going to be sufficient for free. You can do an upgrade. Uh, you can do a premium upgrade. And also there are add-ons. So there's Firefox and Chrome add-ons, which actually works very well. Um, I have that tested on my other test computer. Uh, Google Docs, I did not test Google Docs here. I will tell you that the browser extension, if you are logged into Google Docs, does actually work with this. And so that is, uh, you don't even really need uh, the Google Docs extension, if you're just using the Firefox extension, it will work. Microsoft Office, I did not check. I also did not check Office 365, obviously LibreOffice. If you click the More, this is just a variety of community tools. So Language Tool for Chrome, there's an Eclipse plugin, Emacs. So you can just kind of look around what you're looking for. There's Licks. Uh, just so many different things out there you actually have a version of language tool for. So that is an awesome, uh, awesome tool. Thanks to uh, my friend who showed me this, this tool. And now I have a grammar checker built into my LibreOffice. Oh, look at that right there. This is one of the ones that for some reason the uh, internet-based one picks this up, but it does not pick it up in the, um, uh, in the uh, document itself. So if I head on down to the document, find that word. Uh, basically, I should have a capital W there. The one in LibreOffice does not pick that up. The web one does. So there's a few things there. So you can actually kind of see that uh, it is actually picking up a little bit more on the on, on the web version as well, which I believe it will pick all those up on the extension. So definitely check out Language Tool. You can use it to add uh, a language and a, a grammar checker onto LibreOffice and onto a variety of different things. And also check out if you need something a little bit more advanced but are worried about the 
uh, privacy policy in terms of conditions inside of Grammarly, definitely check out Pro Writing Aid. Have a look at my affiliate link in the description and on the website, and I will have a 20% off coupon code there as well. So thanks for coming along on this brief video on Grammar and LibreOffice, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.